Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Asset Podcast. Woo. You hear that AC running? It's December. Getting near the end of December, having to run the AC because it's hot. It's 70 in fucking December. What the fuck is up with that? There's nothing wrong with the planet. The planet's not running. There's nothing wrong. We ain't got to worry. That's just bullshit. Science is in what we're talking about. Ah-ha! It's from Head Press. This is the Encyclopedia of Hong Kong Film. More sex, better zen, faster bullets. It's an updated version. I have one going on a few years ago. It's by Stefan Hammond and Mike Wilkins. Forward by Jackie Chan. Prefaced by Michelle Yao. Uh, wow, $30 book. How and why did films from Hong Kong, a former British crown colony and map spec, become so popular? Post-World War II, creative freedom was scarce in Asia, but Hong Kong was a safe space for filmmakers seeking a profit from overseas Chinese markets and Chinatowns worldwide. Both Shaw Brothers and Golden Harbor set up mass operations in Hong Kong and let the celluloid slip. By 1980s, Hong Kong, Simo Hung, and Jackie Chan were famous throughout Asia. The winning formula of humor and martial arts prowess ripped through kung fu stereotypes, while filmmakers like Choi Hawk, I've learned to say you say that, and Ringo Lam served a fancy horror and noir crime dramas for rabid cinema going hordes in the grand houses of Kowloon. It was a glorious time. This book is the Nam. Nam Periel, I don't know what the fuck that even means. True story of the Hong Kong film industry. One does skip on the good bits. The hyperconnected films themselves included her intrepid first hand accounts of the culture and international fan bases that have emerged around these films. More Sex, Better Zen, Fresh Bulls contains the best bits of sex and zen and a bull in the head in Hollywood East. 96 to 2000. The two best known tones of Hong Kong films of the 20th century revised when the inclusion of new material results in the most comprehensive encyclopedia of Hong Kong films available. Now, I did a video quite a while back. It was like on Asian cult cinema or something like that. I had a book, but I love me some Hong Kong shit. Now, I got this really cheap because if you can notice, the cover got a cut, a razor cut right there. Two pairs. It still looks good. Now, this is just somebody you know how they updated it. And there's Jackie Chan's horror, Michelle Yao's preface. Special thanks. All the people have died. Uh, honestly, I'm looking at this like James Wong. I know the name. Sir Run Run Shaw. Uh, that looks like the only one I recognize on here. But it's just it's different like Tim That Rip. Chinese Ghost Story. One of those I've heard about for years. I haven't seen Beast Stalker. Full Contact. Hard Boiled, of course I've seen Hard Boiled. Actually, Hard Boiled was one, probably one of the earlier Hong Kong films I saw that I knew was a Hong Kong film. Mr. Vampire, you can actually find that on YouTube. Petty Cab Driver with uh, Samuel Hung. Heard a lot of good about that one. Police Story 3, Super Cop. Uh, this one is, re- I think that was released in the States just as Super Cop. I think. PTU, never heard of it. Sex and Zen, heard of it, have not seen it. Zoo Warriors from Mountain, that's a uh, Choi Hawk. Angel Enforcers, Pituitary Hunter, Escape from Brothel, Queen's High Holy Weapon, Naked Killer. I actually seen that. Hexer, these are bad subtitles. Dodge a Flying Witch's Head. And like Chinese Ghost Story. Chinese Ghost Bio Zombie. I love this fucking movie. Uh, the thing about it is you need the uh, you need to watch this. I don't remember what DVD you have put it out. But there's a version of it that's dubbed into English, but it has English subtitles. I've watched that movie like four times. Like I watch it, you know, dubbed in English, and I watch it dubbed in English with the English subtitles on it. A couple, of, it's just so good. It's a zombie film set in them all. Not Dawn of the Dead though. Drive with the white hair. This actually aired on uh, Joe Bob's Monster Vision back in the day. I had a. VHS tape, I recorded both of those. Deadful Melody. Devil Fetus. Eternal Evil Asia. Holy shit. This movie is insane. Um, I don't know if this actually has a legit US release. I'm not sure. I got a bootleg. Mr. Vampire 3. Red Spells Red. Red Spells Spells Red. Okay. Rigor Mortis. The seventh car- oh, cover up the boobies. Cover up the boobies. Aloha, Little Vampire Story, Centipede Horror, Dr. Vampire, Erotic Ghost Story, Evil Cat, The Ghost Snatcher, Ghost I got this, though. I wanted, I wanted to know some more Hong Kong cinema to watch. Golden Chat, Horoscope 2, Holy Virgin vs. Evil Day. I think I've got that. Auto Jailhouse, My number, my Neighbors Are Phantoms. Operation Pink Squad, Possessed 2, Savior of Soul, Spiritual Love, Ultimate Vampire. Yeah.
Hong Kong Noir. Don't bite all. Dream Home. Eternal Affairs. That's the one, um. Yeah, it's the one that, uh, uh, Scorsese, no, not Scorsese. Yeah, Martin Scorsese remade The Departed. First time and the last time. Gangs, gunmen, long run the law. On the run. Queens of Temple Street. Stool Pigeon. Big Heat, Taxi Hunter. I haven't, a lot of these, there's a lot of these I've not seen. Uh, Rouge, Bear Me High, Call Girl 92, Flirting, Tucker Cage and Corporal. Women's Prison for 88. Wow, that's an older one. I, uh, that had to hurt. This is Jackie Chan. I've seen a good chunk of these. Thankfully, I had a buddy that was getting hold of them. A little history on Jackie Chan. Want the wire work. This ain't just changed all kinds of stuntman stuff. Okay. All right. Seven stunt nuggets, painted faces, counterattack, runaway blues, and shrimp crisis, never yet run return. Jackie Chan my stunts. Okay. So you think your kung fu is pretty good, but still you're going to die today. Ah ha ha ha. Martial art film, the brothers of kung fu. This is for most people, a tattoo connection, human tornado, Bruce Lee fight. For most people back in the day, especially my age, the first, honestly, if you don't count like stuff from Canada and the UK and Australia, the first foreign cinema we saw here in the States was martial arts movies. I'm of the right age where when Saturday morning cartoons ended on like your independent channel or sometimes even on your networks, like at lunchtime, you know, Kung Fu Theater or Black Belt Theater or Chop Saki Theater, ours was Kung Fu Theater, spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E, and it'd be like a Kung Fu movie, badly dubbed, cropped horribly, but I'd watch them every week, love that shit. Bad eggs and naked killers. Naked killers is a. That's not the one I'm thinking of. That 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 one's not bad. Ninety three. I didn't realize it was ninety three. Her name is Cat. Sex and Zen Redux. Sex and Zen three. Right to go story two. Ooh, cover up the booty. Cover up the titties. Sex and Emperor. Robotrix. Some of this stuff, if you go looking, is up on YouTube. Robotrix was. I actually downloaded thing. It was a cartoon based on the old toy line. Naked Soldier. Naked Weapon with Maggie Q. And that, I was shocked because I got a hold of a copy of that in like 2003. It hadn't been out very long. A friend of mine got it. She bought it because she saw the title and was like, ooh, a bunch of naked women in it. And it turned out she was not happy because there wasn't that much nudity in it. Ninja Quartet, Laboratory Devil. And look at all that. Let's see, posters, Hong Kong showgirls. I wonder if it's like Hong Kong Exile. Cops and Rascals. Nine four one three. Beast cops, big bullet man. Yeah. The log legacy of rage. Tiger on beat to live and dine. Tashima Shimashumi. Travisia. Unexpected. Exile beyond hypothermia. Intruder expected unexpected. Too many ways to be number one. The longest night. Breaking news. Vengeance. The mission, the odd one dies. Nail polished fist. This is gonna be like, yeah, women's martial art. A sheer shock. Yes, Madam ninety two. Black cat. Um, the hero trio, which I finally got to see. This is a really cool movie. You got Michelle Yao, Anita Mu, and Maggie Shang. And it's it's hard to describe. And here's the thing: in the state, it shouldn't be too hard to find because Dimension slash Miramax had the rights for a while. So there's one of those. Echo Bridge, you know, Miramax did deal with Echo Bridge, like a lot of their lesser known stuff got put out through them on DVD. I got that and like a couple other films on a DVD pack sheet. Pretty good little film. It's, um, they're kind of like three superheroes and these guys, somebody's stealing kids to like sacrifice or something, if I remember right. In Line of Duty 3, In Line of Duty 4. Not connected to In Line of Duty films over here in the States. Magnificent Wars, Royal Wars, Cat and Steel, She Shoots Straight, Angel and Angel 2. Black Cat 2. Lion Fear with Cynthia Rothrock. Dreaming in Reality. Kip Oxford Shears. Mission of Justice. Princess Madam. That's where I learned how to say it. Choi Hawk. The Blade. Dragon Inn. Green Snake. 
Once Upon a Time in China, which I have and not watched that Peking Opera Blues. Swordsman 2, The Wicked City. Now, I've seen the anime. I don't know if I've seen the live action version. Better War 3, East is Red. I love Maria. Once Upon a Time in 2, Once Upon a Time in 3. The Chan Cannon. Yes, it's Jack Chan. Armor of God. And Armor of God 2, which actually I think came out in the States before Armor of God, it's called Operation Condor. Good film. City Hunter, great film. Uh, Drunken Master 2. Drunken Master 1 and 2 are great. Uh, I want to say the U.S. release of Drunken Master 2 was a Miramax release. It's kind of edited badly. Uh, Dragon Attack. Miracles. A lot of these I have not. Uh, My Lucky Star. Police Story. This is the film that brought Jackie Chan back in prominence. Got the stunt. Was that the one with the hovercraft? I'm thinking it is. Police Story 3, Super Cop. Let me see. Project A. Project A Part 2, Twin Dragons. That's a good one. Maggie Chang's in that. Big Brawl. Cannonball Run. That's where I first saw Jackie Chan. Drunken Master. Protector. Yun. Semo Yun. That's Semo Hung. Uh, in the States, he's probably best known for the short-lived martial law TV show, but just a great, big fat guy man, for an Asian fat guy, but did great kung fu. Houston Condor, Counters of Spoon Part 2, Kid from Tibet, Painted Faces, Peacock King, Above the Law, Wheels on Meals, that's one I've seen. Oh, man, is that, that's also got Jackie Chan in there. Ringo Lamb, now, in the States, he's probably best known because people claim that Tarantino, like, Wholesale ripped him off when he did Reservoir Dogs, and they're getting that in here in a second. Check if there's a hole in my underpants. No, I saw a vomiting crab. <laughs> City on Fire. Okay. City on Fire gathered, garnered additional attention when Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs was released in 1992. Invoke comparisons with the earlier Ringo Lime time. While almost the City on Fire worked into Fabric Reservoir Dogs, we're talking apples and oranges here. One more important, both films are excellent modern crime dramas that explore the complex dynamics of cops who have gone so deep undercover their loyalties twist. Which is true. Prison on Fire. Prison on Fire 2. School on Fire. The Afterburner. Besides this film, they got a lot of good articles in it. It's a really cool reference book. I mean, you see, it's a lot of writing. I've not gotten a chance to read all of it yet. I, mean, I got it the day before I filmed this. John Wu, talking about John Wu's career and all the stuff he did. He's another one that helped me get me into this stuff because I saw a good chunk of it. So let's see. Where's the John Wu listings? I was looking up to see a few John Woo's films before Hard Target came out here in the States. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, Dr. Lamb. This is kind of like the horror stuff. The Ebola Syndrome. That's a fucked up movie. Lost Souls. Man Behind the Sun. Man Behind the Sun. That movie. About the Chinese, uh, the Japanese uh, torture camps in World War II. They tortured the Chinese and Russians, and it's just fucking badass. I mean, ooh, it's rough, man. I've seen some fucked up shit, and I have trouble watching. Story of Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Story of Ricky O. Oh. Martial Arts, Gore, Madness. Uh, Untold Story, Human Meat, Pork Lungs. Untold Story 2 is on here, so Untold Story 2. Shocking Asia 1 and 2. Chinese Torture Chamber. Come on, Category 3. The Shaws. The Crippled Avengers, which I have not seen that one. Five Fingers of Death, I actually own that on uh, DVD. Mad Monkey Kung Fu. This is the one I want to say I saw back in the day on Kung Fu Theater as a kid. I remember there being one about, it was like, everybody else was doing like drunken style. And he's like, I do monkey style. And it was typical, you killed my master, I'm going to kill you plot line. But, oh, Dirty Ho? Eight diagram pole fire, flying guillotine, seven golden vampires, one armed swordsman, black magic. That's a fucked up movie. And then resources, where to see and get stuff. Glossary, yeah. 
What's this map? What's the walled city of Kunlun? When the Chinese ceded Hong Kong to the Brits in the 19th century, they walled off a small portion of the territory and declared a part of China a face saving gesture. Since Hong Kong lost the United States enclave, it became a haven for criminals. It turned into a rabbit warren of illegal business, overcrowded re residences, run to the The Wall Street was demolished in the early 1990s with since Car Cole says. The subject of books and documentaries, both the 1982 Shaw Brothers films. Okay. Wygor, literally brother Y. This is the Cantonese term for Viagra. It's a homonym, also pun. This is silo, means little brother. It's also the same for well, applies only man. You can you can guess now, can't you? Right. Really cool little book. I'm glad I got this. I ain't got a chance to read too much of it, but definitely if you're into Hong Kong cinema, check this out. Well, I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. All the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.